Hey guys, Alice here from Hitfooty Mom. Today I'm having a few friends over, I'm doing a little entertaining, so I'm heading over to Metcalf's to pick up some essentials. If you know me, there's sure to be a cheese and charcuterie board involved. Let's go! Metcalf's has been around since 1917 and it's family owned and operated. There are three locations, two in Madison at Hilldale and Westtown, and one outside of Milwaukee. I'm here at least two to three times a week and I know a lot of the employees. Today I'm here for some entertaining essentials so I know exactly where I'm going first. Hi Justin. Hi Alice, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Wonderful, thanks. Well I am having some friends over tonight and I'm making a cheese and charcuterie board. I was wondering if you could help me select some cheeses today. Oh, of course. Let me come around. One of my favorite cheeses for a cheese and charcuterie board is Car Valley Mobe. It's okay. really, really delightful. Um, if you'll notice that lovely ash line down the middle. That's beautiful. That is because back in the day when they would make cheese, they would milk the cows in the morning, and then they would cover it with ash so it doesn't spoil throughout the day. And then they would milk them at night and finish the cheese. I so love that. It's like really, really good. So next on the list, Alice, is uh, Marika Gouda. Uh, this comes from Thorpe, Wisconsin, and this is a really, really special cheese. So the woman who makes it, Marika Penterman, she is from Holland, as a matter of fact, and that's where Gouda comes from. So she came here and tried a whole bunch of different cheeses and didn't, didn't like them at all. So she went back to Holland and learned how to make Gouda, and that's where this cheese comes from. Tell me about the mustard seeds that are in there, because that's gorgeous. I it love is. that. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. It adds a little bit of almost like a, I don't want to say crunch, but a little pop texture. Yeah. Very subtle mustard flavor that yeah. goes really nice with the creaminess of the cheese. Okay. Yeah, it's wonderful. Stuff. Yay, I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. So since we're in Wisconsin, you got to have an aged cheddar. Yes. My personal favorite, the Hook's Five Year Cheddar. Um, it's a perfect balance of sweet, creamy, sharp, salty. Um, and Tony and Julie Hook are just really, really lovely people. So they were the first cheesemakers in America to successfully age cheese for 20 years. And I still tried that one. Good. Yeah, good stuff. This is that cheese I was telling you about, Pleasant Ridge Reserve. It's made by Uplands Cheese from Dodgeville, Wisconsin. It's a raw milk cheese, so it's got really deep, complex flavor. Mm, um, yeah. I don't know if you Delicious. can see, but it's really beautiful golden color. That is from the beta carotene in the grass that the cows eat. So this cheese is only made during the summer when the cows can graze on grass, okay. which is what gives it that really, really earthy flavor. Yeah, I taste it. It's amazing. It's wonderful stuff. Justin, is there a wine that you can recommend that would go with this cheese? Actually, Grant is the one you want to talk to about wine pairings. Hi, Grant. Hello. So I just tried the Pleasant Ridge Reserve. Great. Is there a wine that you would recommend that would pair well with that? Absolutely. One of my favorites is Sauvignon Blanc. It balances really well. It has a lemon grassiness that goes with the grassiness of the Pleasant Ridge. Another red wine that pairs well with it is a Pinot Noir, where you get passion fruit, strawberries, ripe plums, and just enough acidity to balance out with the butteriness of the cheese. I love it. I'll take both. Awesome. <laughs> Thank Great. you so much. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. My friends are also bringing their kids today, so I wanted to keep it simple. You can always purchase foods from the freezer section of your local grocery store and heat them up, but I love grabbing a nice selection of delicious foods from the prepared food section. It's less stress and just makes entertaining so easy. If you want to prepare some foods, you can always bake cookies or make a homemade dip or even some guac. All right, we are all set. I was able to find everything for tonight's party here at Metcalf's. Let's head home and get things going. So we're back from Metcalf's. I have all of my entertaining essentials here. Let's build this cheese platter. The first thing I do is I start with my cheese wedges. I'm gonna start with the hooks cheddar. So for this cheddar, I wanna do cubes. And then for some, I will keep them in wedges. I'll slice them into like triangles. The point with a cheese board is to just keep it super interesting and to create as many different shapes as you can. Next up is this beautiful Marika Gouda that we picked up from Metcalf's. Can you see this cheese? It is so pretty. And there's literally mustard seeds, whole mustard seeds in this cheese. I think it's so beautiful. 
For this Colby Jack, it started out like this. I just cut it in half. I'm gonna cut it in half again, but I'm keeping it in a wedge shape. And then now I'm gonna slice them into thin strips. So again, just think of like interesting shapes for your different cheeses. And again, different ways that you can slice up the cheese. Just make sure that it can be picked up really easy by your guests. So we just slice up this Havarti and I'm gonna add this to my platter. So now what I like to do is I like to pause on the cheese and then I like to add some other elements to my board. And that is it. This is our cheese platter. This is ready to go. And now we're gonna plate up all of that delicious food that we picked up from Metcalf's in the prepared food section. And that is it, you guys. Everything is ready. I have my cheese board. I have the foods from the Metcalf's prepared food section. Metcalf's made it so easy. And now I need to go get ready. Metcalf's made entertaining stress-free, fun, and easy. For my entertaining tips, visit hipfootymom.com. And for hours and locations for Metcalf's, visit shopmetcalfs.com.